When it comes to DJing with the iPad, there's only a handful of apps that you can actually DJ with, and eDJing Mix is one of them. And by the end of this short video, you will be ready to DJ with this amazing app. So this is what you're gonna see when you open it. Now, this app is still currently being updated. There's some other DJ apps like Tractor DJ that aren't being updated, but this one has been updated recently and I believe it will keep improving as we go on. So it's a great platform to start your iPad DJing journey. So this is what we are going to see. This is the layout, this is the view mode. There's no way to switch view modes like there is in DJ Pro. So this is our view mode, so that's what you're going to get used to. And like I say in all of my beginner tutorial videos, the first thing that you want to learn is how to load up songs because if you could load up two songs then you could basically start DJing. The music select buttons on this app are different than basically any other any other DJ software. Instead of being at the top corners, it is right here above our volume slider. So we are going to press one. If you want to load a track on the right deck, you could press the right one. If you want to load it on the left deck, you press the left one. And then you can also choose once you select your song. So once we go into here, it may look overwhelming at first, but don't get overwhelmed. Over here to the, like in the middle left, the top middle left is out our music sources. So you're gonna have to choose a music source. So you could either use music that is on your device, if you have a lot of music on your device, if you have an external hard drive or however you wanna do it, you would choose music and then the next one which i would highly recommend if you're getting into djing with the ipad is using a streaming service so the one i use is tidal but beatport beat source soundcloud are similar you could if you have a premium membership you could basically load any song well any popular song onto a deck and start djing instantly so i'm just going to select tidal now, if you don't, if you haven't DJed with streaming service before, maybe avoid using Tidal because it says our partnership with Tidal may be suspended in the future. Right now it's working, but there is a lot of drama in the streaming for DJ space. So just keep that in mind. So now we are in our streaming service. So to search, we are going to press the search down here. And then we are going to search, let's just say 50 cent. It's going to search it and then it's going to come up here on whichever streaming service you're logged into or even if you're not logged into it's still going to show it so i'm not logged into beatport or beat source but it's showing it there and then here in title you press more and then we have all every song by 50 cent you could possibly want and then you could also load up songs from your files if i go over here to files any song that you have saved in your files you could also load up onto a deck so that is how you're going to load up your songs onto a deck. And then also playlist. Once you start learning how to DJ, you're going to want to set up playlist. So to get the playlist in this app, it's a little bit tricky, but we're in the same spot we were. And then down here where it says my music search or my sets, it calls my sets playlist. So if you're looking for playlist, look for my sets. And then we could create a playlist. So this one is 2000s music and I created a playlist. Whenever you find a song, you can press these three dots over here and then you can add to a set and that's how you create your playlist. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to create playlists in this app later. So now we have a song loaded up onto the deck. So we have a couple of controls. It may be overwhelming if you never DJed before, but it is pretty simple. We have our volume control. This is the volume control. Same thing if you were changing the volume on your phone up and down, the higher it is. If it's all the way at the top, it's full volume. All the way at the bottom, it is no volume. And then anywhere in the middle. And then this button here is to connect, is to choose which side you want your headphones in. Now there is a free version of this app, but to get some of the more advanced features, you're going to have to pay and using headphones is one of them. So I will talk about that in another video. And then auto mix is another paid feature. It automatically will play your playlist and do transitions for you. But I'll talk about that in a more advanced video because you guys are probably using the free one for this tutorial. And then sync is going to match the BPMs and match the beats up on both tracks. 
Now up here is how we're going to access our effects. So this first one is our effects. You can have two effects playing at the same time if you have the paid version, but with the free version, we have one effect available, which is good. We could still use an effect. So to choose the effect, we're going to press this drop down menu here. And then whichever effect you want, you could choose right now. We can only choose these four roll steel and filter because we are using the free version. And then to turn it on, you're going to press somewhere on this field of touch. And then if you want it to stay on, let's say you wanted the echo to stay on, we press this lock button, then press it and the echo stays on. Now, next thing we have is our loops. So it doesn't let you do loops with the free version, but if you had the paid version, this is where you would select your loops. You could do four B and then you could go, you could go up or down from there, or you could choose these pre-selected -pre beats, one beat, two beat, four beat, eight beats. That's how you do your loops. It is pretty essential to DJing, although you can DJ without loops, but I wish you were able to use at least like a couple of them in the free version, but you can't. Next is Smart EQs. This is an advanced feature that only advanced DJ softwares have. Basically what it does is you could separate parts of the track. You could get rid of the instrumentals. You could get rid of the vocals, make your own mashups, play the vocals of one song over the vocals of another song. So this song's playing. And then although it doesn't say anything until you try to do it, the Smart EQ is a advanced feature that you have to pay for. But basically, you would lower these, these sliders. If you wanted there to be no instruments, you'd lower that one. If you wanted to... If you wanted to get rid of the vocals, you lower that one. And then if you wanted to adjust the, the drums, it's a really great feature. And then this drop down menu here, we could change it into a classic EQ. This is what you see DJs doing with the knobs. There's the low, the mid and high. A low is the bass, high is like the hi hats and stuff like that. And the mids is like the vocals and the stuff in between. And you could use this with the free version. It's just a simple slider. I like how they use sliders instead of knobs because on the touch screen, the knobs might be a little bit difficult. And then hot cues. So with the free version, we can do two hot cues, but I would recommend on all of the tracks that you play to select at least one cue point on where you're going to start the track. So listen to the track, find out where you want to start it, and then set one cue point where you're going to want to start it. Set one where you're going to end it, and then you'll be ready to go. I made a whole video on setting cue points in this app. So that is what we have up there. Down here, this is our jog wheel, our platter, or our record deck. It's made to look like a real record deck. It is active. You could scratch by moving it back and forth. You could spin it back. It's programmed really well to respond just like a real jog wheel or a real record deck. And then this button here will turn the power off and make kind of a cool sound. So it's kind of like pulling the plug off of a record player. It'll slow down the track. And then down here we have our sampler. There are really cool samples that you could use. You just find which one you want, press it. If you had to have the paid version, there are so many different sample packs you could use and they work really, really well. And then you could have the sample pack open on one side and not on the other, or you could have both open at the same time. And over here is your volume control so you can control the volume with it. Down here, we have our set and our cue button. These are temporary cue points. So you pick a spot in the track where you want to set it and then press the Q button and it'll play from there. And whenever you press the set button again, it is going to change it. So that is how you use, that is how you use the, what you have in this main view mode. If you wanted to change the BPM, it would be up here, but it's not letting us do that due to it not being the paid version, but your BPM is here. And then if you wanted to change the BPM, you press the pitch and then we could adjust the BPM that way. Now, let me just go over some of the settings. 
So in here, if you go to skins, you could change, you could buy, you could buy some of these skins and change the color of it, which is really cool. And you could also change the record deck over here. This is where you can record, but you're going to have to have the paid version. You can record and export your sets. Settings. The store where you can buy it. Audio settings. You can change the audio settings there with the pro version. And then you could connect the DDJ200. This is the only controller that you could use with this app. So if you plan on DJing with a controller, then you might want to use a different iPad DJ app. And check out this video over here to see my opinion of the best iPad DJ apps. Thank you.